Bill Zekas from Yoshikaga.com. I'm on State Street in front of a sign that still says Marshall Field and Company. Here to look at the Christmas windows. Not much Christmas spirit on display in this window. I would say this is a real kick in the head to the lovers of the Christmas spirit. It's a purely commercial message. Hopefully it gets better from there. Hey, this may be the most uh, appropriately decorated uh, window in the entire store for the Christmas season. At least from what I've seen so far. Material Girl and Rachel Roy. Christmas be without Calvin Klein. Proceeds from sales of certain items, of course, are going to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And of course, it being Christmas time, we have to have relentlessly sectarian music, right? So what do you think? My daughter likes it. Daughter likes it, that's all that counts, isn't that's it? That's what matters. <laughs> Do they know each other? No. Oh no. <laughs> no, they're just she's just friendly. Just being little girls, huh? On the Washington side of the store we've got nothing but uh, blank windows. And signs that say please pardon our appearance. I'd say that's a no. I'm at Wabash in Washington looking at uh, Macy's windows that I'd have to say would not be out of place in almost any dollar store in America. And from the looks of the non crowds here on the Washington, on the uh, Wabash side, no window decoration underway. We are, however, joined to be fanciful. And to be merry. It's a Ralph Lauren holiday over here. The top of Trump Tower is shrouded in the mists. One 
the days when those million dollar views aren't. And we have a few dollar store quality uh, windows on the Randolph side of the store also. Hey Santa! Pretty sweet. That's the first reference I've seen to Santa Claus or to any element of a traditional Christmas. Well, after walking all the way around Macy's, it's not beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. <laughs>